Chevrolet's Camaro is a true survivor in the sporty car market. It's been around in one form or another since 1967. This car is a 1984 Z28HO, the hottest Camaro offered this year. The trend these days is to achieve good performance by using small displacement engines with turbochargers. But the engineers at Chevrolet have shunned that idea and have opted for a more traditional horsepower delivery system. It's called good old-fashioned cubic inches. The HO Z28 uses a 305 cubic inch V8 with a four-barrel carburetor and dual exhausts. The result is a satisfying 200 horsepower. Our test driver, Tony Morris, talked about the drivability of the big V8. This car has got a 305 cubic inch motor in it, and you really can't tell that you've got the cubes back again. This is the HO motor, so it's got a little bit more poop than the standard car, but it's a very enjoyable car to drive. You take the car to its potential, and it's quite easy, I can assure you, to get it to 140 kilometers, which is the maximum of the speedometer. It's easy to brake. I think this is a big point with a car this size. The good braking that Tony mentioned is accomplished with large ventilated discs at the front and thinned aluminum drums at the rear. A disc brake rear end is an option on the HO version of the Camaro. A five-speed manual transmission is standard on this model and performs admirably, allowing crisp shifts via the short throw linkage. The clutch, on the other hand, is not as sophisticated. While less leg strength is required than on earlier Camaros, the clutch still does not engage until near the top of its travel. It requires a bit of getting used to for smooth starts. However, the suspension is an area that is improved this year. Chevy still uses a traditional independent front, live rear axle system, but they've got it working much better than before. Since 1981, they have changed the whole suspension setup in the, in the Camaro. And the old cars used to give you a real rolling sensation. It wasn't a comfortable feeling. And in the new cars, they've obviously put much more high-tech technology into it, and they've improved it 100%. When you turn the steering wheel, the car points. It's a thing that Chevrolet lacked very badly in the past, was a positive steering feel. They've achieved this with the independent suspension that they have in the front. Tony Morris is well known in the racing fraternity for turning in some exciting performances in his race-prepared Camaro. I've raced a similar car to this at Westwood for many years. Obviously, the cubic inches were the same. The horsepower is slightly different. However, the feeling of the car is very similar to our $100,000 race car. This is a $20,000 automobile, and it has got a very positive feel about it. It feels safe at all speeds. It feels safe at high speed. It steers perfectly. Um, I guess I'm praising it a lot because I really do know the car well. Taking a Porsche Turbo at a 10, I would rate this car an 8.3. If it sounds as though Tony Morris likes the Camaro Z28, it's not really too surprising. It's the kind of car he chooses to drive on the street. Our thanks to Duick on Marine for supplying us with the car and to Tony Morris of Circuit Tire Sales for their help with auto check on consumer retorts. For Vancouver, I'm David Kincaid.